You're called to love like Christ and that didn't involve you hurting someone to make you feel better, blah, 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 blah. Check this out. Because you are clearly still drinking milk and you are not eating solid food yet. What is God's purpose in a person's life? Yes, he loves you unconditionally. He supports you. He provides for you. But he is also your father and he will discipline you. He will correct you. When you lived an entire life in the darkness and you finally come across light, it is going to physically hurt you and shake you from the core. It's going to hurt your feelings. It's going to open your eyes. My problem with Christians nowadays is that y'all preach different sides of God's and don't preach all of the sides of God's. Loving, merciful, compassionate, holy, wrathful. Oh, but Jesus is loving the Bible. He is loving. He was also flipping tables. When he was in the wilderness fasting and Satan tempted him, he responded with scripture. And to be honest, if God has a message for me, like if he genuinely has a message for me and he has to use somebody to give me that message and hurt my feelings to save my freaking soul, I will gladly accept it. The problem is, especially Christians, refuse to be disciplined and they continue to walk in their flesh by not trusting in God and trusting their own ability, trusting their own selves to lead themselves. This is why I gave the example of Saul when he was on the horse and God blinded him. God physically and literally blinded him and took his sight to reveal to him the true sight of God. Isn't that like powerful? He was so sick of Saul, he made him blind and was like, hey, follow me. And then Paul dedicated his entire life. He went from Saul to Paul. I don't think reading a Bible verse is gonna hurt somebody's feelings. So I'm gonna give you one more truth. The truth is I clicked on your page. Number one, you are a coward. You don't have a profile picture and you have a bunch of Christian reposts in your profile. The difference between me and you is that I use my platform to actually talk about God and I'm not the perfect Christian. But I'm also not stupid because I read my Bible. Yeah, Jesus, he accepts everybody, of course, but he's not going to tolerate it forever. Everybody's on a time limit. We are living on borrowed time. And one day that grace, that patience is going to run out. If you're going to preach to me a loving God, you need to preach to God that also corrects his people and disciplines them and whips them on the butt when they act out of line. That's all I got to say. And honestly, it makes my day when y'all comment on my videos pretending like you actually know me in real life. You're worse than a keyboard warrior. You're, you're a Christian keyboard warrior. I'm not afraid to tell the truth to people. I mean, Jesus did, and they killed him. So, hmm, I think he died for that, for me to be able to talk about the truth. Like, did we read the same Bible? Because I know I'm not making this up. <laughs>